Well, howdy folks. Welcome back to my channel. I got what I think is gonna be a fun video today. Over here, I've got my TC Electronics Tailspin Vibrato Pedal. And I'm not gonna go into the, you know, a whole lot of the history behind this, but you can do a search for this. There's a lot of people that rave about this pedal because it's fairly inexpensive and it sounds great. In fact, there's a lot of people out there that'll say, in order to find a better sounding vibrato, you have to pay double or more, you know, what this one costs. So it certainly has a following, but it has one complaint that you'll hear a lot of people say, and that when you turn the rate knob all the way down, they expect it to be slower than it actually is. So everybody's, you know, the only complaint that you'll ever hear is people say, I wish it went a little bit slower. Well, I figured, you know, knowing what I know about these circuits, there's probably either a resistor or a capacitor or something in there that controls that rate. So if we could find it, you could increase it. Well, I did some searching and sure enough, somebody wrote a Reddit, Reddit article where they went in there and actually figured it all out. So that's what I'm gonna do today is try to put a switch in here so we can have a slow mode and a normal mode. Now, what you'll need to do for a mod like this, if you wanna do this on your own, you'll need a small switch like this. This is a single pull dual throw switch. You can use a single pull single throw switch also because you're just basically using one side of it, but any sort of little switch like this. And then you'll need a capacitor. This is a one microfarad capacitor. Of course, you'll need a couple small pieces of wire, soldering iron, and a drill to uh, drill the hole where you're gonna mount your switch. Okay, first things first, let's just demonstrate the pedal before we do anything to it. So I've got a loop pedal here. Let me go ahead and start that. There's some sort of a loop in here. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and engage this. So we can hear that kind of warbly, seasick kind of a thing. And turning up the depth here will increase the, the intensity of the effect. And then of course, this is the rate. So if I turn it all the way up, you get a really fast rate as I turn it down. But when you turn it all the way down, it's still not that slow as you can hear still hear that in there and so people have said you know it'd be nice to have you know have that rate go slower so you could get like a really slow pulse so that's what we're going to try let's get the effect apart okay so here is our circuit board you can see all the little tiny components there and according to the reddit article the one that we want to take a look at is c18 which is right here sure well you can see that on the video but it's right there so let's just test that real quick before i go in and start soldering okay so to test this i'm going to go ahead and start the loop here and we can hear i've got that rate turned up pretty high I've got my capacitor here, and I'm going to touch the capacitor to C18, and it should slow down. Okay, so you can hear that's definitely slower. And I'm back to fast again. Okay, so it works. Let's go ahead and do the mod. First things first, I like to always use a set of magnifiers like this when I do this sort of stuff. And then the next thing I like to do is just grab my solder and just get a glob of solder right on the tip. Just like that. And then I just kind of grab this and just smear it. I'm going to adjust my magnifiers here. Just kind of smear it right along the side of C18. So right down here. There we go. And then we do the same thing on the other side. So once again, there we go. And then take my two little pieces of wire here and you want to strip this. And when you strip this, you don't want to strip it like you typically strip a wire, just barely any, just like that. Can you see that? Not sure how well you can see that, but C18 just has a wire right on the outside. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So that is exactly what we want there. You can see, or hopefully you can see, C18 has a wire on each side. Okay, now real quick before I wire up the switch, let's just make sure it still works to make sure I didn't damage C18 at all with heating it up. Let's just check real quick. <laughs> We 
can hear it still works. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna have to drill a hole in this enclosure top to mount our switch. Now you could put that here, 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 down here, wherever you want really, as long as you've got enough wire slack. But I think I'm gonna put it probably about right here in the middle. Okay, so I just took a quarter inch bit. I just did that out in the garage, put a hole right there and you can see switch fits in there perfectly. So I guess the next step is to solder these wires to the switch and then of course, put the capacitor in between there. Okay, so there is our mod. As you can see, when it's the switch is in this position, the mod will be bypassed. When the switch is in this position, the mod will be engaged. And that is basically all there is to it. Let's put it back together and try it out. A few moments later. We see a problem here. So even though there's plenty of room for that switch, you can see one of the switch pegs is just hitting the top of that capacitor and it's making so it can't quite drop in there. Now, I guess I should have took a closer look before I drilled that because had I drilled it just a little bit to this side, it would have dropped right in. So live and learn, I guess I need to fix that. Okay, folks, our mod is done and it's back together and it's looking really good. And um, you can see the switch here. When the switch is in the up position, the mod is on. And when the switch is in the down position, it's in the factory state. Now, luckily I had this little um, plastic hole plug. You can just kind of see that there. And it worked perfect, it was the exact same size as the hole. So that was fortunate, it almost looks like it was meant to be there. But when you do this mod, make sure you drill your hole either over here, or if I would have drilled it further this way, I would have been fine as well. But just don't drill it right there because obviously it's gonna hit those capacitors. Anyway, let's test out the finished product here. So let's kick in the effect. Okay, let's turn the depth up. We'll turn it up all the way so we can hear it. And let's run through the range. This is as fast as it goes in the standard. And then as slow as it goes. Okay, so like we said, we'd like to get it slower. Let's go all the way back up to as fast as it'll go and kick in the slow mod. Oh, yeah. Huge difference. So that's a... I don't know, I'm going to guess the slowest is probably somewhere around here. It seems like about where the slowest was without the mod. And now we've got a heck of a lot slower we can go, so. Oh yeah, listen to that. That's really slow. Back to normal. Very cool. So there you go, folks. That's how you mod your tailspin to have ultra slow mode. And again, this switch doesn't even really look conspicuous. If it wasn't for me throwing that accidental hole, I don't think you'd really even notice that that wasn't factory. So there you go. But when you do yours, either drill it closer here towards the middle or make sure you're over towards this side so that you don't run into that. Um, so once again, uh, I used a one microfarad capacitor. And if I was to do that again, I'd probably use like a 600 nanofarad because it almost seemed too slow to me. Like, like there should have been more overlap uh, between the two settings and um, you know if you used a little bit lower value there that would that would be the case but I'm totally happy with it I'm not necessarily going to go in there and modify it I think it came out great looks great works great and it made a great pedal even better thanks for tuning into this video if you're thinking about doing the same mod that is how you do it if you like what I do on this channel I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button for me and if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up make sure you hit that like button because that really does help with the promotion of the video and I really do appreciate it thanks for tuning in